Hi, welcome. I am Mora from Flex Health with Mora, and I am here with Kelly. She agreed to come on today and talk about some of her experiences working with me. Kelly, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So let's just kind of, well, I'll just share that you were doing the lymphatic treatment, assisted lymphatic therapy, uh, which is an in-person service. You've been coming in to see me for a few months now. So let's just talk a little bit about what brought you in. Like, how were you feeling originally that made you even seek out lymphatic therapy? So a little bit of my past history is um, about seven years ago, I developed uh, severe anaphylactic reactions to food. And then unfortunately, now I'm also allergic to bees. And so I've had a history of anaphylaxis. And most people think of anaphylaxis as being kind of a one-time allergic reaction, which is true in the intermediate, but it also affects your neurological system. And that can last, you know, anywhere up to a couple months with a whole variety of symptoms, a lot of inflammation in the body, and it's hard to control. So that's my history of kind of weaving myself into the holistic community and finding my relief through holistic measures as opposed to years of Western medicine that did not work on all levels. <laughs> so you had, you'd have like an exposure to one of these things that you have a reaction to. And not only would you have the immediate right away reaction, you know, most people think EpiPens. I don't know if you can't, had to carry one. Um, yes. So you yeah. also have, that's, you do. Have that's your, your immediate reaction, which, you know, it's usually within the first 24 to 48 hours, but then the symptoms progress for another couple months or longer, or can wow. progress that. Yeah, okay, so, yeah. Uh, so just one exposure, you're looking at months of recovery. Yes, yeah, unfortunately. And it was a bee sting that was my last exposure in the spring, and um, my neurological system gets affected. I develop POTS, which is postural orthostatic, um, syndrome, it causes your heart rate to spike. It's not cardiovascular, it's neurological. Okay. And um, I was having problems getting my heart rate under control. GI issues come with all this, sleep issues, um, neurological issues where brain fog, you just feel like you're kind of in overdrive and then you can crash just as quickly. And so I've tried a lot of different modalities, acupuncture, chiropractic, Chinese medicine, massage therapy. And then I happened to come across lymphatic treatment. And I thought, I'll just see how this, you know, goes and what it leads to. And uh, I was shocked. One treatment and I felt immensely better. Yeah, I remember and you I think, sending me a message like right after. I haven't felt this good in a long time. <laughs> I, like, I know. I know. It was like, I could feel normal again. I was shocked. I was like driving home and I'm like, I feel like me again, like the old me. And I couldn't believe how quickly it happened. Yeah. So that's kind of what made me seek you out and what has made me a long-term believer and client in the assisted lymphatic therapy. I think it makes a massive difference in internal inflammation in the body. Yeah. And you've also had um, some confirmation from other practitioners because you're still, you see, you know, I know you mentioned your chiropractor and he's validated even beyond what you're feeling, which is, you know, I'll, I'll put that over any test result any day, but he also <laughs> is seeing some changes in your body. Yes. Yes. So my chiropractor also uh, practices Chinese medicine and he's also a functional medicine doctor. So he's kind of my doctor on different levels. And I was seeing him once every four weeks and he noticed a change in my overall health, but more interestingly, in my structural health. Oh, wow. My body uh, structurally, my body wanted to, my right hip would jack up and my gait, my length of leg would be off about an inch and a half every month. So I would see him every four weeks for structural adjustments to get my alignment back in place. And he noticed that my alignment was progressively getting better. My last visit with him last week, 
I had no structural problems whatsoever. He goes, I have never seen you look like this in the six years I've been treating you. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> are you Mara? And I'm like, yes. I'm like, that's the only thing I have done differently since last summer is see Mara. And I'm like, I can't, you know, contribute anything I've personally done besides see you for that. So it's not just internally, but it's also structurally as well which, um, you know, structurally it's got to affect your overall internal health too, I would imagine. Oh, absolutely. So like, as you're trying to find the, the, you know, like along your journey, which you said it's been seven years, I always like to kind of mm -hmm. give people a ballpark of, you know, how much can be spent because really that, that does have an impact on people's therapy that, um, you know, you try person after person after person after person. How much would you say you spent until you finally got the results that you were wanting? Oh, gosh, I was thinking about this last night and it's well into the thousands. You know, usually every year I'd spend, you know, at least a couple thousand on different therapies, supplements, um, changing my diet, you know, you're always trying to seek out whatever you think might help. It's difficult in the journey because it is a journey and some things work well and then you kind of grow out of that and then you go into the next phase. So it's kind of an ever changing and interweaving journey. And I've been very blessed by having amazing holistic practitioners and holistic practitioners that work with each other and refer each other out as how I found you was through another mutual friend of ours that's in the holistic field. So, yeah. you know, I'm grateful in that respect too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's nice when you find, you know, one person leads you to the next person and then you have their experience to go on as well with that person as a professional rather than, you know, just like, Oh, I heard this person had an advertisement. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> And I've been lucky too, because it's all been word of mouth referral. And I learned so much from you and other practitioners that I work with on how to keep my health healthy and how to maintain my health and other therapies and supplements and just tidbits of information that I can glean from just a session with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing. Your wealth of knowledge. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I always like to tell people like you're coming in for a session, but you're also going to be getting basically a consultation. I just, while we're doing the consultation, I'd rather be driving these wands around, you know, like waving or rubbing these wands on your skin and like have you actually walk out feeling better rather than just a to-do list of things to do to try to right. do. That's amazing. So you mentioned that you noticed changes right away after your first session um, and you've been seeing me for for several months. Um, can you give everybody an idea of how often you see me and the, if you like, what kind of progression you've noticed? Well, I'm seeing you, I average about once every four weeks. And um, like I said, I noticed an amazing difference just within the first session. My brain fog has disappeared. I feel like I'm more clearer and I have more clarity on my thoughts. I feel like I'm less inflamed. So my uh, GI issues have diminished. I feel like I'm sleeping better. I feel like my body is just moving better. I have more energy and I just feel more kind of more serene, a little bit more of a calmness because I don't feel like my body's in that fight and flight mode. I don't feel like I'm stuck I felt like I was kind of like in this mode of where my body was stuck in idle and mm -hmm. it wouldn't take much to move me too far up where I'm too hyper or too far below where I feel like I have no energy. I'm like going into that adrenal fatigue phase. I'm trying to like fight to stay motivated and stay where I can just have energy to get through my day. Yeah. So I just feel like I've got this nice, even keel. I can just sail along. Nothing seems to bother me anymore. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. And I, that's one of the things that I love about the lymphatic work is that it works on so many levels. 
And it might be, you know, it's partly from the actual lymphatic work itself. If you were doing self massage, there are certain massage protocols you can do for mood, but the device itself also helps like put in those really great frequencies. And I'm glad to hear that they're that just, you know, once a month is making such a difference for you. It's just amazing. I don't know. I'm amazed too. I was doing massage therapy to kind of lymphatic massage therapy for the longest time and it would work, but it was very short term. I would say it lasted maybe a few days, maybe a week at the most, if I was lucky. But with your assistant lymphatic therapy, I find for me at this level in my health that, you know, three to four weeks seems to be about my maximum, but I'm also coming in every four weeks just so I can have that level of maintenance because mm -hmm. I don't want to lose that level of health that I've acquired with you. So for me, even if I don't think I feel like I need it right off the bat, I still want to keep with you every four weeks for maintenance just so I can keep my health up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Like, being in the habit of taking care of your health proactively. <laughs> right. Because, you know, really health is your greatest wealth in this life. You know, it doesn't matter what else you have. If you don't have your health, you really don't have anything. Yeah, it's true. It's exactly true. Um, okay, so just to wrap up, what would you say to anybody who was kind of on the fence trying to decide if they wanted to do assisted lymphatic therapy with me? I would say give it a one-time shot and it's going to change your life. <laughs> Great. I love it. All of it time and you're going to feel the results. Um, you know, try it. You know, that's what I did. Yeah. I was at the point where I needed to find another modality and I researched it. I really liked Mara and um, I'm like, see what happens. And I was amazed. I thought I'd have to go in for a few sessions. I was surprised that after one, it really made a difference. So I would say try it yeah. one time and you're going to be. Awesome. Any other closing thoughts that you have or would like to share or experiences? Um, I would say just, you know, get into a habit of taking care of your health, find the modalities that work for you and stick with it and keep it on maintenance. The biggest thing I've found through my journey is staying on maintenance. Once you think that you're feeling better, it may not last. So stay on that maintenance program because it's probably the most important and probably the most cost effective modality that you can do for your health. Right. Yeah. And with lymphatic therapy, this, it just feels good. So I love the idea of like, you know, you're, you know, especially cause you were talking about neurological and we were talking about the nervous system and, um, you can get up here and then it's so much harder, like a, a jump down doesn't get you as low into that rest cycle as if when you're starting lower than that same jump down We'll get you deeper into that rest where you get the good sleep and the brain fog is gone and you know you can just regenerate and feel much better and but it is it does often take a, a a maintenance and just being proactive you don't let yourself get that high and expect miracles right away you got to be on it right and you really do and um you know i think that's part of what a lot of people struggle with is they feel good so they stop doing what they were doing to improve their health and then they i think personally that when you get to a certain level of health that you've worked so hard for it doesn't take too much to backslide and you might backslide a lot quicker because your body became adjusted to a certain level and is fighting to stay there mm -hmm. sure that's sure. right maintenance so much more important when you have been sick for whatever reasons you have to fight harder to stay healthy yeah yeah well thanks so much for sharing your experience I appreciate that oh you're so very welcome thank you for helping me keep my health